Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good morning. Hi everyone. So today we're going to learn uh, the next topic for our mathematics year 4. Okay, saya sudah selesai makan. Alright. So today we're going to learn topic 7. Coordinate, Ratio and Proportion. So first of all, we're going to to see about the definition. So what is definition? Apa itu makna? So coordinates means coordinate. Ratio means nisbah. And proportion means kadaran. So after this, we're going to see what is all all these three is all about. Okay, koordinat, nisbah dan kadaran. Kita akan tengok selepas ini. So, koordinat uh, written by koordinat of x-axis followed by the y-axis and also the intersection point of the x-axis and y-axis is called origin. Alright, normally we, we write as O. Jadi koordinat ni ditulis mula, uh, dimulai, dimulai dengan paksi X diikuti dengan paksi Y kemudian di titik persilangan antara paksi X dan paksi Y ni kita panggil sebagai pusat ataupun origin. Kita akan tengok selepas ni. So alright, this is the picture of our school SK Datuk Sulaiman this this picture showing us the map of our school SK Datuk Sulaiman okey gambar ni menunjukkan peta eh peta sekolah kita SK Datuk Sulaiman alright so this is what we call x axis eh paksi melintang horizontal axis diikuti dengan Paksi Y, eh? vertical axis ataupun paksi menegak. Ha, jadi yang dikatakan origin ataupun uh, pusat tadi dekat sini, O. Eh? Jadi di setiap paksi ini ada ada nombor uh, nombor rujukan untuk kedudukan. Eh? Satu, dua, tiga, empat dan lima. Untuk paksi Y juga sama. Okay. You got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Kalau kita ada peta yang lebih besar, jadi nombor akan lebih besar lagi. Now we have to determine what is our coordinate for our school. Jadi sekarang ni kita nak tentukan apakah koordinat untuk sekolah kita sikit tu sama. Jadi kita dah nampak ada dekat sini. Okay. Jadi kita tengok dekat paksi X mewakili nombor 2. Dan di paksi Y juga mewakili nombor 2. So, coordinates for our school, okay, coordinates for SKDS is 2,2 in bracket. Okay. Jadi, ini adalah cara penulisan untuk kita tulis koordinat. Eh. Dimulai dengan kedudukan di paksi X diikuti dengan kedudukan di paksi Y. Alright, next. Now we go into ratio. Jadi tadi kita dah tahu dah ratio ni adalah nisbah. Tapi apa itu nisbah? Okay, ratio is the comparison between two quantities of the same unit. Jadi nisbah ni bermaksud perbandingan antara dua quantity dalam unit yang sama. Alright, for example, the ratio of 1 to 1 is written as like this, okay? 1, 2, 1. Alright, so this is the example. Okay, ini adalah contoh tentang ratio ataupun nisbah. Now, we got two quantity here. Okay, one cup of sugar and also one cup of thick coconut 
Nih. Okey, satu cawan gula dan juga satu cawan uh, santan. Santan pekat eh. So the ratio of the number of cups of sugar to the number of cups of thick coconut is 1 to 1. Jadi nisbah eh, Nisbah bilangan Cawan gula kepada bilangan Cawan uh, Santan pekat adalah Satu nisbah satu Alright now we go to the second example Now we got here 1 kilo 1 eh, kilogram Mass of fish and the other one is 5 kg mass of chicken. Jadi kita ada dua kuantiti dekat sini. 1 kg berat ikan dan juga dan juga 5 kg berat ayam. So the ratio of the mass of fish to the mass of chicken is 1 to 5. Jadi nisbah berat ikan kepada berat ayam adalah 1 nisbah 5. Alright, now we go to the last part. We go to the final part, proportion. Okay, tadi kita dah tahu dah proportion ni adalah kadaran. Tapi apa itu kadaran? Alright, so uh, proportion using unitary method to find the value of an item of the same unit. Eh, kadaran ni menggunakan kaedah unitary untuk mencari nilai sesuatu item dalam unit yang sama. Okey, kita akan tengok contoh selepas ni. Alright, now we go to the soft problem 1. Okey, this is for the coordinate. Now you see here we got coordinate a few <coughs> a few of appliance. Alright, we got 5 rice cooker, television, iron, water heater and refrigerator and also the price for each appliance so this is the question Ayub paid 2020 ringgit for two electrical appliances state the item he bought and the coordinates of the items jadi Ayub membayar 2020 ringgit untuk dua perkakas elektrik nyatakan item item yang dibeli dan koordinat untuk setiap item tersebut. So when so when we're talking about solve the problem, bila kita bincang tentang uh, penyelesaian masalah, problem solving, okay, you must remember the four step which is U P S E, U understand, P plan, S solve and the and the number four is C check. Alright, so first of all, you have to understand. Awak kena faham. Ayub tadi, kita baca balik soalan. Ayub membayar RM2,020 untuk dua perkakas elektrik. Jadi, nyatakan apakah item yang dibeli dan juga koordinat untuk setiap item tersebut. Now, number two. We go to the second step. Plan. We have to plan. Kita kena rancang. Okey, kita kena rancang. Kita nak guna operasi apa? Berdasarkan jadual yang ada kat sini, apakah dua item yang kita boleh dapatkan jumlah sebanyak RM2,020? Okey, kita akan guna operasi tambah. Okey, we are going to use addition. So, now we see here. Alright. Okey. So now we solve. Jadi bila kita dah rancang, kita selesaikan. So 1800 ringgit plus 220 ringgit will get 2020 ringgit. So this is so the coordinate for refrigerator is 42 and also the coordinate for the water heater is 54. So once we solve, bila kita dah selesaikan, kita dah dapat jawapan. We have to check. Kita kena semak. 
So how so how we are going to check our answer macam mana kita nak semak jawapan kita? Jadi kita guna operasi tolak. Kita reverse kepada addition tadi. Kita guna operasi yang berlawanan kepada tambah iaitu tolak. So 2020 ringgit minus 220 ringgit will get 1800 ringgit which is this is the price for the refrigerator okay now we go to the question number 2 solve the problems okay halim bought a durian weighing 1 kilogram reka bought a durian weighing 5 kilogram more than the mass of halim's durian what is the ratio of the mass of Halim's durian to the mass of Rekas durian. Ha, jadi soalan ni berkaitan tentang ratio ataupun nisbah. Kalau solve the problems one tadi tentang coordinate. Jadi Halim membeli sebiji durian seberat 1 kilogram. Reka pula membeli durian beratnya 5 kilogram lebih berat daripada durian halim. What is the ratio of the mass of halim's durian? Apakah nisbah berat durian halim kepada berat durian reka? Alright. So the first step we have to understand. Kita kena fahamkan. Okay. Jadi ayat-ayat dalam soalan ni, ni yang kita kena underline ataupun kita kena gariskan. Kita kena faham. Right, number two, we have to plan. Kita kena rancang. So here we can draw. Jadi kat sini kita boleh lukis. Contoh, halim. Durian dia satu kilogram. Kalau reka, tadi dia kata reka bought a durian weighing five kilogram more than. Okay. Lebih berat 5 kilogram lebih berat Ok jadi sekarang kita tengok Satu kotak ni mewakili Kita katakan mewakili 1 kilogram Kalau durian reka Lebih daripada 5 kilogram So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So now we have to solve Jadi kita dah rancang tadi Kita dah nampak Berat durian reka So equal to 6 Kilogram. So the ratio of the mass of Halim's durian to the mass of Rekas durian is 1 to 6. Jadi nisbah berat durian Halim kepada berat durian Reka adalah 1 nisbah 6. So check, kita kena semak. Jadi untuk soalan macam ni, kita kena semak daripada langkah awal kita buat pengiraan tadi. Okay, check all steps again. Alright, now we go to the solve problems number 3. Okay, this is about proportion. Yang soalan ketiga ni tentang kadaran. Okay, masih cerita tentang durian. The price of durians at three shops are as follows. So, we got three shop here. Shop A, shop B and shop C. So, shop A... They sell durian 4 kilogram for 20 ringgit. Shop B 2 kilogram durian for 15 ringgit and shop C 3 kilogram for 24 ringgit. <coughs> Adira wanted to buy 12 kilogram durians. Which shop would she choose? Justify your answer. Okay, Adira nak membeli 12 kilogram durian. Kedai mana yang dia akan pilih? Okay, terangkan jawapan anda. Alright, we start with the first step. Kita mulakan langkah yang pertama. Understand. Kita kena fahamkan. So, tadi kita dah tengok gambar rajah ni. Okay, you see here. Okay, Adira wanted to buy 12 kilogram durians. Which shop would she choose? Justify your answer. Alright, justify your answer. Okay, jadi kita kena tengok kat sini. Jadi, kita akan gunakan... So, we have to plan. So, kita akan gunakan kaedah unitary. Yang mana kita akan mencari harga untuk 1 kg 
sikit satu kilogram durian untuk setiap kedai. Okay, we are going to use unitary method. Okay, to find the price of one kilogram durian for each shop. So, kita nak guna operasi apa? So, we have to use division. Eh? Okay, next. Okay, now we have to solve. Okay, for shop A, 20 ringgit divided by 4 kilogram will get 5 ringgit. Shop B, 15 ringgit divided by 2 will get 7 ringgit and 50 cent. And shop C, 24 ringgit divided by 3 will get uh, 8 ringgit. So, among these three shop, which shop would you choose? Jadi, antara ketiga-tiga kedai ni, kedai mana yang awak akan pilih? Okay, yang kita dapat sekarang ni adalah harga untuk 1 kilogram durian. Shop A, kedai A, 1 kilogram durian bersama dengan RM5. Kedai B, 1 kilogram durian bersama dengan RM7.50. Dan kedai C, 1 kilogram durian bersama dengan RM8. So, Adira choose shop A. Adira akan pilih kedai A. Kenapa? Because the price for kilo, 1 kilogram of durian is RM5, which is the cheapest. Jadi, Adira akan pilih kedai A. Sebab apa? Sebab 1 kilogram durian di kedai A bersama dengan RM5, iaitu yang termurah di antara ketiga-tiga kedai ini. So, check. We use the reverse operation. Kita guna operasi berlawanan untuk bahagi tadi iaitu darab. So, RM5 times 4 will get RM20. Okay, that's all for today. I hope all of you understand this topic. Okay, see you again next week. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.